begin with uh, work group announcements, and then we'll take more general announcements. Um, so anyone with a work group announcement, please raise your hands. Sacrifice will... say we'd ask you to keep your announcements to around two minutes uh, for the sake of time. Yes. possibility. Um, but starting this Monday, we're having an action meeting. Um, we will have an announcements time for um, things that are already being worked on. It's not really going to be a place to work on new stuff. What we're going to do is have a specific focus on taking space. Um, this will be a conceptual meeting as it's a little bit dangerous to come to a big meeting um, with lots of details about taking space. So it's more uh, going to be a conversation about what that means to take space, the history of taking space, why it's important to occupy, people's ideas about what they want to see in the future for that. Um, we've seen a lot of um, energy around people that have either left Occupy or don't have much to do with Orver anymore, but really want to see uh, the taking space conversation happen. So we're providing that space. There's a Facebook invite for it as well um, on Occupy, which <coughs> Um, and also, I just want to remind, um, I'm going to go off a little bit on what Dorsey said, which is that uh, I, I also happen to agree that we have to see larger bodies of meetings than I do in protests, which is something that really concerns me. Um, and I don't really understand it, because to me this is sort of a protest movement. But every day at 11, 11 to 3, we have consensed on NGA to be outside of the Virginia General Assembly. And me and Will are probably <coughs> for that, but it's really difficult for us to be there every single day. So we rely on family members to help fill in time to protest this, this the capital. So I just remind that time um, that we have that available to do whatever you want with, to protest however you want with, at that time, from 11 to 3 every day. And you can go before or after that, too. It's just that's what's been since the So I just want to remind that. You said your meeting is Monday. Here at 7. Here at 7. Okay, sorry. And what about the, the taking space meeting? Yeah. Is it here at 7 o'clock tomorrow? Tomorrow at 7 o'clock. And it's a conceptual meeting about taking space. Thank you for there. Uh -huh. Alan? I think the best one. Um, two announcements. One is move to amend Richmond uh, is an organizing group <coughs> combining Occupy with any and all like-minded common ground organizations that show up as we do our searching and preliminary work. We are having a meeting here Wednesday night. The stage we're at is that there's a whole lot of pieces of organizing, pulling information together um, and needs people to grab a hold of different pieces of it. We're still in a preliminary. The goal is to create a full and complete spreadsheet of all resolutions underway across the country, to create a spreadsheet of every locality in the state and identify groups, organizations, and individuals to pass out our packets to, to assist people in every community across the state to organize, to take down Citizens United, and to close the vault with the banksters inside with all their greed. <laughs> 
Uh, so please come join us. If, in this, the beauty of it is that right now where we're at is that you're probably not going to need to come to a lot of meetings. It's going to be a lot of online work. There is an active uh, online group and, and document sharing and a lot of the work is going to be researching, phone calling, you know, what you can do and fit into your life. The other thing is, these beautiful things on the wall aren't just beautiful things on the wall. There's a fundraiser for legal defense fees for those arrested to date with Occupy protests. Um, there's a whole basket of them over here. So far, the money has raised has just passed $200, and that's just the beginning. Um, with 13 people, uh, possible fines, even if we get dismissals and community service, which is likely for most of us, there's still going to be court costs for a 10-minute show up before the judge in Manchester Court was $222. So courtrooms are expensive. Please help out. Thank you, Al. No. Alan? Uh, could you repeat the, the move to amend meeting details? It's here, Wednesday night, 7.30. 7.30. Thank you. Santos. Hey, what's up, y'all? Speaking for uh, education outreach, got some handouts for you, but you're uh, passing those around. Um, all our various projects for roughly the next month and a half, projects and events. Um, we do it this way because we want to encourage people to be able to sign on for a specific project that they find interesting without feeling like they have to commit to like, everything that our really group is working on. Um, so please just get a hold of us if anything sounds interesting to you. Um, but as for this week, uh, we are having a Wednesday education outreach uh, conference call. It's like an enriched thing just for us to get organized so we don't always have to be coming together. There's just another method for us to organize. That's going to be at 9 p.m. Um, and then we are having a physical meeting here on Thursday at 6, and then later that night, we're still going to be here at 9 p.m. for a conference call with several other occupations around the country for um, take down the corporations. And the other thing that we got going on uh, this week is we want to we want to start reaching out to people who have been a part of our movement in the past and have left, and in the future we want to have like a special assembly or meeting like. <coughs> to invite all those people back in and address some of the issues, find out why they left. But up until that point, we want to start meeting with individuals and finding out why they left. Um, and I don't think the point is so much to necessarily try and convince them to come back, but just try and learn why they left and how we can better ourselves. And, you know, that's going to be their decision as to whether or not they come back. So that's pretty much it. Clarifying question. I've heard several, Claire and, and Santos, for sure. Um, Speak to meetings in this building that I've not had knowledge of. It doesn't mean they haven't contacted directly themselves, but okay, brain cells. But please, if if you wanting to use a building, make sure that they know, you know, and it's it's on the calendar, uh, and I'm available. Uh, Jeremy describing had a question. Yeah, could you repeat the details for the Takedown Corporation conference call? Um, that is going to be at 9 p.m. Uh, we're planning on being here for that. Oh, it's not a conference call? Yeah, it is. We're, yeah, but we're going to be here okay. as a group, but we're going to have a conference call with um, other cities. <laughs> and what day? That is Thursday. It's Thursday. It's during June. Okay, um, we have this cool resource called the OccuPhone, um, and we can use some help keeping the OccuPhone updated, new events and whatnot. Um, if anyone is willing to do that, to be the sultry voice of Occupy Richmond, just go ahead and Go ahead and holler at me. I've got, we've got a really cool Aquafilm guide like, put together. So if anyone's willing to help out, you can just give me your email address of which guide and we just get to it. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, Josh. Will? Okay, so um, we announced this last time. Uh, that last
SGA, but a lot of y'all weren't there. Uh, media now has this thing here. It's, um, it's located at events.occupyrva.org. Um, if you have a, a, a work group meeting, um, any type of um, event going on outside of Occupy or an Occupy um, event at all, um, use this form. Go to that site, uh, go to Submit New Event, and you'll see this form right here. Just fill out all the details that we need and hit Submit. Once we um, go through it, it'll be posted on our Facebook, our Google Calendar in the appropriate spot, and where else? Twitter? Mm -hmm. and, as, and Twitter as well. It takes care of everything all at once. So it's the, and you can put whatever information you want on there, any way you want it, it'll be on there. So uh, again, the location is events.occupyrva.org. Um, and again, we, you can use it for your work group meetings, you can use it for um, any outside events you've heard of that you want us to know about, or if it's an official Occupy Richmond event, um, you put it on there. So. Question? So, we could submit events that have not been consensed on by yes. FDA. Yes, and they'll, they'll, it'll be put on the secondary calendar. If it does become a um, consensus, we can just go and change that ourselves and make everything official. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Hi, I have two announcements. First of all, I want to explain what just happened here to the goal. Uh, myself, Jonathan, Megan, and David Irving are all in finance. We sent around the bowl for donations. We received $21.95 tonight. That is going to our general fund, bringing our general fund up to $190.95. Uh, my second announcement is for logistics. I wanted to let you guys know that we paid the rent on the U-Haul. Uh, so our stuff is, our general stuff is currently stored in either my apartment or at the um, Broad and Lombardy U-Haul. I currently have the only credentials that are able to get in there. If you need to get in there, speak to me, as always. Uh, we will be looking to move those probably in the next month so we don't have to pay again. But I will keep you updated as it comes up. told me he wasn't coming in tonight, but he was still going to work with the group. But he actually knew a lot of the people with the Not On Our Fault line. So since he already knew all of these people, I thought it would be better to ask him if he would lead the group and contact these individuals. And he said he would, but he wanted from us our head counts. He said that they protested Dominion Power four months ago. But this is really on a serious note now. 98 earthquakes, 98 tremors, plus <laughs> um, a lot of other things are happening to the earth, shifting and all of that. So if there is a nuclear meltdown, all of us would be killed. I don't understand why everybody doesn't want to go to North Anna and protest and protest downtown. If we keep letting them get away with this and not shutting down that damaged reactor, it can kill us all. We can eat all we want, but we breathe the same air, we drink the same water, so that is a potential killer for all of us. So if anybody else wants to join us or just protest with us or go to North Anna or down to the headquarters, just let me know because this is serious. There's no use in us meeting if they're going to kill us all from up there. That's all I got to say. Uh, well, um, I forgot one thing. Uh, last GA, we also um, officially started the finance group. 
Um, so if it's going to be fun raising <laughs> money, then you yeah. be able to <laughs> Get rid of that habit. Um, the fundraising group was created uh, with the intent of raising funds, uh, creating events for fundraising, and um, then sending all those funds to finance. Um, so if you have any ideas as far as clever ways of, of um, generating um, funds, uh, if you'd like to be a part of that, or if you're interested in any way about that, uh, we're looking for volunteers to um, come and give us ideas and help us get that off the ground. And get that that. Um, so just come talk to me after with GA and I'll you. So. So, my question is: it is, is the fundraising team for general funds or? Yes. Okay. Any no. Oh, that was any no. Hmm? Any no. All right. Um, <laughs> there's a couple points of information there, Terry. Um, I, I believe when uh, you brought it uh, up, it was for any and all. It, it, could, it could be, be for it, earmarked. It's, it's funds meant for general well. funds, but it can be earmarked for anything uh, that we specify it needs to be used for. But the general purpose is to fund the general fund and it needs to go to a special cause, special thing, then that, be, that we do have the permission to do so. But that's that. Uh, uh, clearly, is that answer for you? I have one last cat's announcement reminded me. Uh, the donation box was put out down at City Hall Free Speech Forum and bought $22, which I needed to get to them. Yay! <laughs> All right. Um, thank you. Is that uh, it for work group uh, and general announcements? Or do we have do we have people who would like to make general announcements? Uh, last call for announcements. Cool. Great. All right. Um, so we're going to move into.